The Incredibles, an exciting family-friendly Pixar animated film about a family with superpowers. Everything about the movie is great. Everything except for its physics. In countless scenes throughout the movie, Pixar fails to abide by the laws of physics. In this video, I'll show you one of these scenes and explain exactly why that scene is unrealistic through physics. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. He got away. Good thing, too. <laughs> you were this close to losing your... Uh-oh is right, Mr. Incredible, because Pixar just ignored physics. More specifically, Pixar disregarded the downward force of gravity. To explain, I will draw a free body diagram of Mr. Huff, Mr. Incredible's boss, and the forces exerted on him. We can assume that Mr. Incredible applied a horizontal force on his boss because, uh, this. We know that this force was completely horizontal and not at all vertical, because the holes in the wall, created by the flying Mr. Huff, followed a perfectly horizontal path. In response to Mr. Incredible's applied force, the walls acted against it in the opposite direction. However, the force wasn't equal because Mr. Huff was still moving horizontally until he hit the file cabinets. But here's where things get problematic. According to physics, gravity, the downward force, always acts on objects on Earth. If this is true, Mr. Huff would have followed a parabolic path through the walls as opposed to the perfect horizontal path shown in the movie. It's almost as though Pixar decided to ignore gravity until Huff broke the fourth wall, then gravity made him fall to the floor. Now someone might say that maybe Mr. Incredible's force was so large that it didn't look like his boss followed a parabolic path, but he actually did. However, for this to be true, Mr. Huff would come flying through the fourth wall at a proportionately large velocity, and that's not the case. Also, the four walls look like they're made out of the same material, so the fourth wall could not have provided more normal force than the previous three. This is just one of the many examples of bad physics in The Incredibles. Overall, I still think it's a great movie with lots of action. But after watching it, to be honest, I don't think the guys at Pixar passed AP Physics 1. Honey! What? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? 